Hi friends. So after making my my hero song video, I thought maybe some people would like to know how to sign some things that have to do with the subjects of the show, which is a little bit hard to explain. So I thought I'd just make like a quick little video about how you might sign that. So if we're talking about anime in general, you probably have to be more into the death weeb group to know a lot of the signs because in ASL, the, the truth is that a lot of small niche, you know, groups, they have their own signs that are not like mainstream for everybody. Uh, the Star Wars, Design Star Wars has its own, I know like Darth Vader is like one. Um, and then you know, you have lightsaber, you know. So some of them are pretty easy to understand and they're more mainstream now. But in other things, it's very, very niche. And anime would be one of those things. But there are a couple of things in anime that you could probably sign anyway. So when I back when I was taking a vocab class. My interpreting professor told us that hero specifically is actually hard to sign in ASL. There is no actual sign for it as of now. So uh, to get around this, we make stuff up. You could say hero as in superhero, which would be more like Superman. Um, it's like what I'm doing. So Superman is an S on your chest. Go figure. Superhero is an S plus kind of just Hero. There's a lot more uh, signs for the, the DC uh, universe and the Marvel universe than there are going to be for anime. But if you don't want to use superhero, then another way to say hero is to say a person I look up to. And you can kind of just say look up to, maybe like indicate the person you're looking up to and that's basically saying they're my hero. So for My Hero Academia, you could say Deku looks up to All Might, and I would have All Might over here for Deku to look up to, and that would be one way to say he admires him. That's kind of how you say admires and stuff, and look up. And I could say, back ago in season one, looks down on Deku. I love back ago, by the way, but he is kind of a, a, a jerk in season one. I'll be, I will admit that, and in season two. I know I wasn't the only one who only started really liking him after season three and then just retroactively began liking him be through the rest of the show because of that, but hey, in season five, he's pretty cool. So yeah, well, I'm not going to argue with the haters because it's a waste of time. Anyway, all right, quirk. So quirk, um, if you want to sign quirk literally, if you watch my I'm not famous video, I actually signed the sign quirk, which is kind of funny because I was totally like thinking about Azawa while I was signing that because that video, if you watch AMVs, you know, and you're acquainted with AJR, you know that blew up once Azawa, <laughs> Azawa's character came out uh, because you will actually find, if you don't know this, if you look up the song I'm not famous, the AMV to Azawa has more views, I believe, than the original song. Uh, I'm not 100% sure that's true, but I, I think that it is, so it's funny. Anyway, the way I signed it in the video was quirk. This means characteristic. Uh, in the video, that makes sense. For My Hero, the show, though, um, it's more like superpower. So you have a couple of options. You could say strength. That's not maybe the best translation. You could say power. This is a bit more of a technical translation though. You could say to be able to, um, you know, like ability, but the closest could kind of be skill or ability. My skill or ability is this. And honestly for this, this is one of those times you might just have to use more than one sign because for certain difficult concepts in sign language you need to use a bunch of different signs. Romance doesn't actually have one sign. It's like love, dating, you know, together, drama, you know, like that's how you say romance. You convey the idea of romance. You don't sign one word for it. 
love is probably the shortcut though for quirk that might be what you have to do It'd be like superhero skill power ability quirk you know or you might explain more what quirk is but for like a quick reference in the show that have to be it i would think in the fandom however it would probably have something to do with deku breaking his fingers but i'm not sure but my guess is that's how you would sign it and to sign other specific quirks it's actually very simple you just have to probably act it out for bakugo easy you just do his little explodey hands for Todoroki. be like half hot half cold right hand left hand you get the idea for momo it's like oh i'm gonna like pull a sword out of my side which by the way is completely boss for jiro very very easy if that is not the sign for Jiro, I will be shocked. If it's not like something like that. Kaminari might be a little bit harder because, you know, it's like lightning, it's like striking everywhere. But I'm guessing it would be like his, his stupid hands. For Minota, it would probably be you would show the shape of his, his um, quirk. You know why I paused. And for Froppy, you'd probably show her tongue like going everywhere so I hope what you're getting here is that the idea is more to show what you're talking about than to literally sign it when it comes to fandom stuff it's very similar for Star Wars you know any other fandom that you happen to be in I actually don't know how to sign fandom but I think it's like if you have fans in a group you know so it'd be something like that a uh, group of people who would love the show you know or, or the book you know, in the case of like Harry Potter, Percy Jackson, and the Olympians. Yes, those all have their own signs. No, I do not know them because I'm not in those fandoms enough to know that. Might be more boring, but to sign hero license, what do you do? Then you would spell it. License. Or any, by the way, any license, driver's license, you know, anything. Mm -hmm. You're gonna have like this little card shape is what you're gonna do, which is something I learned back when I had to sign my story of getting my license, which I'm not going to sign here, but maybe sometime in the future. All right. What else can we do? You're probably wondering what about villains? All right. So villain, you, villain's honestly easier to sign than hero, which is kind of odd. Um, I forgot to mention hero, you could probably also say really good virtuous person, but it's, it's, again, it doesn't convey the same idea as the other sign. For villain, it's pretty easy because villain is equivalent to adversary so you could do enemy this sign means oppose or opposite so if you have an opposing person that is your enemy and if you're christian this is also how i sign the enemy in my christian song videos but it can also just mean your opponent which is another good anime sign to know like if you got that joke all right so um you also could do bad guy and then you could also do devilish mischievous person possibly for villain and then if villain is my hero that would certainly be appropriate and uh would also be appropriate psycho or psycho person they're they're psychotic they're crazy otherwise definitely to sign their names uh, probably their quirk. You might be able to get a bit creative. Uh, I mean, uh, supposedly you might be talking to somebody who doesn't watch anime, you know, and you want to like talk to them about your favorite show. Or you like, you see like, maybe they're like wearing some merch, you know, in your like class and you're like, I love that show. Who's your favorite person? And then they, you're like, wait, 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 how do I answer that? Like I said, you can use the quirks, but if the quirks don't seem like they're gonna like, like, cause how do you sign twice as quirk, right? Twice is probably honestly the hardest one cause Shigaraki, that is literally the easiest way to say Shigaraki and that's probably the official sign. By the way, if you know the answer to this, comment, I'd like to know myself. Dobby, you probably could sign like his face or sign his staples in his face. And if that's too, too much trouble, um, you'll be able to just like, you know, 
maybe like do a D or something. Uh, for twice, I'm thinking you could do a couple of different things. This means two-faced, and I'm thinking you could probably do something like that for twice, like two. Like he's got two sides to his personality, or really four or five. Honestly, maybe you could do like some kind of variation showing what his quirk is, what like quirk, copy, quirk, copy. So you have to get creative with stuff like this is like I think like what I'm trying to show you. For somebody like Doga, um cut, knife, blood, anything like that. Or if you want to go for the visual, you could do her little hair buns. That depends on perhaps whether you're going for the cute or psychotic angle. Personally, I go for the psychotic one with Toga. And I'd say all for one might be a bit more challenging. For all for one, actually, the fandom abbreviates it to AFO, and that's probably what you would sign or some reference to his his face, not like not having a face. So maybe you could even like move an A across your face, but these are just suggestions, and it probably is not the official sign. Um, to explain all for one, I I just say all for one. And if they don't know that, then just spell it. If you, again, if you want to have a conversation with a weeb in sign language in your sign language class, which I assume is why you clicked on this video. There's actually a lot of weebs in my sign language classes, so all this information would have been helpful to know going in to make friends. Because uh, what happens is you usually end up talking about it in English when the teacher's not there, instead of signing because you don't know the signs. So, you know, go figure probably like to know how to say fight because you know, you're like did you like that fight scene from season oh by the way season it's kind of like semester season this is also like the four seasons um another option is if you know the amount of seasons the show in question has and my hero has five let's say like season five point to the one you're talking about very simple it's like oh in season one like Deku, you know, he fought Kachan and was like, oh, I was like, you know, your reaction. Uh, you could say, oh, I love in like season two with like Momo, who probably could sign like her ponytail or like, or, like her quirk. Momo and like Todoroki, you know, you know, and they like, they fought together, like, Versus, you know, she can probably sign a racer, like probably like his, his visor, huh? Racer head, it was like amazing. That's probably how you'd say. And so fight, as you can see, is this. Fight, or you could do fight. Or if you know how they fought, go crazy. Act it out. Like, oh, back ago was like, you know, like, or he did like his little special move. Absolutely, you can act out what happened if if you want them to kind of be able to know what part of the fight you're talking about. And the Deku like broke his finger, you know, and Hiroki was like, Shh, you know, it's like this huge ice. Well, yes, you can tell I've watched the show. That's the point. If you know what you're talking about, you are almost unlimited in your options to sign it. That's the beauty of sign language. If you can make them understand, you're good. Like, it's okay. And the great thing is when you know the subject, it's easier not to sign exact English because you'll be able to kind of paint a picture of what you're talking about. And this actually could be excellent practice if you are just starting to learn ASL because you start and describing a regular scene in your life may not be the easiest thing to do. But if you describe something you saw in an anime that you have memorized, because I know that you have if you watch anime, memorized at least one scene in the anime, you're good to go. Like, you're going to be able to do that easily, probably even if you didn't speak sign language, but even more if you do, because you're going to be able to, like, okay, and then he was like, you know, like, you punched him, and he was like, you know, light, whatever they do, I feel like I'm doing something for fairy tale more. There you go. All right. 
anything else before I wrap this up. Maybe some school signs, huh? So Hero School, UA, easiest thing, and I suggest abbre uh, any other anime you watch, if there is an abbreviation, use the abbreviation. No one cares. You can do school, you can do superhero school. Probably that would be the best thing to do in this case, superhero school is UA, or you could talk about maybe Shiketsu. And if you were comparing UA to Shiketsu, you might say UA is in the east and Shiketsu is in the west. And they're different, but they're equal. Get into, if you're getting into a fight about which school is better, you know, that, that might come in help. Handy, right? If you want to pretend you're Shishigira, that is. You see season three, you get it. And um, for the school activities, you could say there was a test. Um, to get the specific kinds of tests, I would just finger spell it. Uh, and uh, the odds of actually talking about this in a conversation are probably pretty low, unless it's just to say what scene you're talking about. It's like, oh, and like the final exam, do you remember when this happened? That was so cool. You know, like that's all you probably will ever need to say. Uh, or you could say graduating. Graduating, I believe it's this, I believe. Or is this grades? You know what, it, it could have something to do with both. Uh, and, oh, class, class, with a C, or you can do group if you don't want to use the initialized sign, because some people don't. Group 1A, 1B, 1C, 1D, whatever, you know. Uh, if you're really committed and you want to go beyond the hero course students, I don't know who does, I'm kidding, I do that, and you want to say support, support support classes where one loves Mei Hatsume who is in hero supports. I would probably say superhero support for that. You gotta start thinking like what you want to clarify for something like this and if I say look up to support that doesn't make a whole lot of sense does it? Unless you know exactly who I'm talking about. Uh, Gen Ed? You can just spell Gen Ed. Hopefully you're talking to somebody who can read English. Because if not, this is going to get a whole lot more complicated. Don't go to Japan and start saying gen ed students, okay? They will not understand you. But cool thing is, if you do go to Japan, you could probably use all of what I'm telling you except for the English words to communicate about anime with them because it'd be easy to figure out. That's the beauty of it. It's cross-cultural, multicultural, whatever you call it anyway. And if you must business classes. Probably just if you want to flex on people because you know so much about the show and yes, this will apply to other anime you want to brag about too. But finger spelling is obviously the easiest fallback if you don't know the sign. And let's see, is that about it? Is that it? Let me think. One more thing. Fail. As always, always threatening to fail or expel you. I forget what the sign for expel is, but it's probably kind of like, Shh, you're canceled, you're cut out. Oh, and criticize. I used this in my video, actually. No one to criticize it, even if I care. It's an X. But this could also be used for critique, which they, they do a lot. You know, Shishikura critiqued. Back ago, back ago got angry. You know, if you want to sign something about back ago, it's probably like, gonna be angry, angry. Deku's always crying, you know. Hiroki's always like this. Focused, intense, you know. And if you really, if you want to make it fun, you know, it's like, what's back ago? We say, die, die, drop dead, you know. Uh, you know, become a better hero like I think this is the sign for all might I'm pretty sure because if it's not it should be put the peace sign up on your forehead all might right I think that will about wrap it up for this video kind of my standard 20 minutes for videos like this all right if you enjoyed this and you want to see me do more anime like ideas for signs or just more explaining about 
how to say stuff in a fandom community uh then feel free to comment it below with any questions um or any anime that you like and i will do my best to get on that and if you don't but you just you know like this video and you want to see more of my stuff then subscribe to my channel and more songs will be coming soon along with more requested songs have a great day and i hope you're enjoying your summer thus far i will see you later princess out